Hey guys, Blake and Jeff here. He's Blake. I'm Jeff. We are back with another episode of Attack on Titan, Season 3, Episode 20. Uh, last episode... 320, um, baby. 320. Uh, you're a little off. <sighs> hey, man. Well, by Central Time. But, you know, hey, wait until next season. We'll get there. <laughs> oh, man. It better be a special pot-heavy episode. <laughs> I don't think it will, but hey, you never know. Do they have Wheaton in the Attack on Titan world? I don't think they do. I don't think that's the kind of crop they're going to grow. I was like, we know they have drugs, but so far we only know of like medicinal. Yeah. Well, they had that one in the... Red Eye? No. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, in the Annie. Yeah, in the Annie one. So yeah, they, yeah. they definitely have illicit drugs that people make. Um, cool. cool. Cool, cool, So, but I don't know. As long as they have drugs. As long as they're, you know, able to, you know, cope. Honestly, like, world-building stories don't feel real to me unless there's, like, drug and crime. Yeah, because that's uh, that's reality. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, okay. Like, uh, that makes sense. Now I believe in the wizarding world. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> anyway, last episode, we got to the basement. Well, we didn't get there. Aaron and them got there. Aaron and, uh, and the crew finally got to the basement. They did. Uncovered some journals. Three journals from Grisha. And a, and a photo. A photo... Graph. Photograph, which he had to explain what it was because they would have no concept. Yeah. Um, and there's a uh, younger Grisha with mm-hmm. a what looks to be a young, comely wife. And <laughs> gross. <laughs> and a bouncing baby boy, which we baby. think is Zeke. It's got to be baby Zeke. It's got to be Zeke. So Zeke is his half brother. Yeah. As far as we can tell. Which makes sense. This is why he says, I'll, I'm going to come back and save you. Yeah. But save you from what? Again, it's like all the fucking from questions. From this lame society that he's stuck in now. I guess that makes sense. The, the, like he's basically like, I'm going to get you out of this fucking miserable world you're in and bring you home. But wouldn't he be, because he's, he's Grisha's son, wouldn't he be one of the armband fucking people? I don't know. I don't know that that's still a thing once Grisha was older. Oh, that's true. It doesn't seem like it. That was only child Grisha. We don't know. Something must have happened. Hmm. But we feel like we're going to get a Grisha story, so we might find out right now what happened. Okay. (sighs) Are we ready? Let's do it. (laughs) Titan? Do they not have cars where they maybe yeah, where they live? I guess that's probably true. No intro. Interesting. Okay, I'll have an enemy. And Akumotska. Eldi, what the fuck? So that's Jew. <laughs> Eldi well. means Jew. Leverio Shuyoku no monodana. Internment. Liberio? Liberio internment zone. もってません。無許可で市内に入ったんだ。僕が妹を無理やり連れ出しました。妹の分も僕に制裁をください。分かった。ジーズス。ファック。ワンショーを外さなかったことは賢い。たとえガキでもワンショーを外したエルディア人は
80年前の巨人大戦に勝利したのだ当時のエルディアの王はこのパラディ島に三重の壁を築き国民と共にそこへ逃げ込んだ Those are the walls. Yep. これは同胞の証です同胞あなたの妹はマーレ当局の男に殺された<笑>我々にはマーレ政府妹の事件の真相を知った時心に誓った本当の悪魔はどちらか教えてやる我々の祖先がやったことは再び世界を正すためにはマーレ政府の内通者はフクロウと呼ばれ姿を見せることなく復権派を導いた我々の子祖ユミルは巨人の力に目覚め荒れ地を耕し道を作り大げには橋を架けた人々を豊かにしどうしようフクロウが人を捕まえたぞ皆さんはじめまして私はダイナ・フリッツと申します王家の血を引く者です Is that going to be his wife? Machigai Nai! Oga Kabe no Naka ni Motsata, Shizo no Kyojin! Koresai Tennis Reba, Hoka no Kyojin, Sibete Oshiaishi, Mare o Uchiorobos Koto ga Dekiru! Toji no Oa Kyojin Tai Senji, Tai Rikunai no Chikara no Kinko Tamotsu to Yu Yakume o Hokishi, and Kyojin no Shima Miyako Shizo no Kyojin o Osame Suru no da! Yokunen, Watashtachua Kekonshi. So Zeke. Yeah. He's royal. 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 He's r o y a 軍事技術の発展による資源争奪の時代にいち早く対応するためらしいマーレを世界の指導者たらしめる7つの巨人の力が絶対でなくなる日は近い莫大な化石燃料を埋蔵するパラディ島は決して無視できるものではなくなった壁の王が80年前に言い残した今後我々に干渉するなら壁に潜む幾千万の巨人が地上のすべてを平らにならすだろう。始祖の巨人を抱く。我々の息子ジークをマーレの戦士にするのだ。<笑>いいかジーク。マーレの人間が言っていることはすべて間違っている。うん、わかった。しかし私は知っていたはずだ。親がこう自らの思想に染め上げる罪深さを。王家の血を引く子でもジーク自身と向き合ったことが一度でもあっただろうか何にせよジークは自らと祖父祖母の安全を選んだ愚かな両親をマーレ政府に差し出すことと引き換えに着いたぞ<笑>ここが、yep. 楽園 So that's the wall they did it off of Okay. Yeah, so it's like a prison island. Oh, my God, you are 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 a prison island. クルーガー妹を殺した当局の男さあ今回は数が多いぞどんどんやっていこう So then Grisha's wife I guess got away? ダイナあなたなぜここに俺は体は大きな黙れまさかこいつがもみ消したのかたくさっさと巨人にして黙らせろよ、うん、グリシャ私は
どんな姿になってもあなたを探し出すから<笑>そりゃいい巨人同士でよろしくやってろ記憶だ今親父の記憶とつながったあの巨人お前だったんだな大イラ<笑><笑><笑>見ろお前には目もくれずグライスくん追ってるぞなあはれよっオレがフクロウだ覚えておけよグリシャ巨人の力はこうやって使う何しよタカンタイタン、シーズン3エピソード20 in the books。What do you think? <笑> um, it was okay. <笑><笑> oh my god. Fantastic episode. Way too much info. So much. Look at my notes. Like, I had look to, like, at mine. I, like I look like a serial killer. <laughs> yeah, I had to make like a weird little border to like write over on the side. Um, God. All right. I、okay. guess we start from the beginning, try to. Yeah. Okay. So we got an answer as to why they were in an internment camp. Yes. So they are Eldians. Yes. Which. So I guess that means they're from another place. I mean, Because they don't come from Paradise Island, which is where we are now. Right.、Par so. Yeah, Paradise Island is a, is a prison colony、yeah. where, yes, the. What's his face?、Um, Fritz. Yeah, what was his name? The, the king. King Fritz. Do we learn his first name? I don't remember.、Uh, but yeah, he, he elected to take his people to that island. Yeah, so he lost a war. Yeah. He lost the Titan War. So they escaped to go there, but they left behind some of their people. Yes. And that's why those people have to wear armbands and. Yeah, exactly. Like they didn't、internment. take everything, he just fled. Yeah, he fled with as many people as he could, erased their memories when they got to Paradise Island, which was only 80 years ago. Yeah, well, 100 years ago, as far as Aaron and them are concerned. Yeah, that was he, when he was a kid. It was 80 years. Oh, that's true.、Years. Yeah, yeah. So 80 years from when Grisha was a kid. Right. Yeah, yeah. So 100 years、yep. since Aaron. Yeah, yeah. Which fits the timeline. It's been 100 years. Yeah. Yeah. So they, yeah, they come from somewhere else. The, like that huge continent then must have. Yeah, it's, it's probably like,、yeah. you know, like we are. Earth. There's different countries and、yeah. stuff like that around. So the Eldians. <sighs> Who were led by Ymir Fritz. Yeah. Ymir Fritz made a deal with the devil of all earth and got the Titan power. Yeah. And then when she died, her soul split into nine different Titans. And they built the Eldian Empire, basically. Yeah, so the Eldians. Okay, so then the Eldians are not. They're not just like, ran like, yeah, they're not just random people. They are descendants of Ymir. Yeah. So they share that blood, that bloodline. I guess so. I mean, I, I guess so, yeah. Yeah. Because he said that they can, like, their people can transform into Titans. All it takes is, like, a little Titan spinal fluid. Yeah. But does that mean then only Eldians can transform into Titans? Or can Marley. Oh, no, well, it, it no, has to be only Eldians because, the, because, because Marley put out the order that they were going to take Eldian children and make them warriors for Marley. Right. But they, they, they couldn't just take their own children. They had to, like, grab theirs. Right. Yeah, so it, it seems like a blood yeah, frame. Yeah, but then how did. Okay, but hold on. Then 80 years ago, how did Marley take control of seven Titans if they couldn't I, I turn into them? I don't know. Hmm. 
Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Because they said that Marley took control of seven of the nine Titans and won the Titan War. Yeah. Which then Fritz and them left, went to Paradise Island, built the walls, which using the founding Titan power to make yeah. all the Titans do, which means, and that they said, there are millions of Titans in those walls. Yeah. And the founding Titan can control them all. So Aaron right now can control those Titans if yeah. he learns how. Interesting. Okay. I liked how the I liked when he was explaining the history. I liked how the books, yeah, the artwork made the Titans look like very majestic yeah. and shit, and yeah. not like freaky monsters. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's true. But okay, but see, then it's it's still kind of like it bothers me because not really bothers me, but it we're we're always wondering, we're like thinking on a scientific level where right. these titans came from. It, magic. Deal with the devil. Yeah, it's like some straight up like I told you. Norse, like, mythology-type fucking magic or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we got confirmation there are nine titans. <laughs> there are nine special titans. Right. Yeah, I mean, that's what I mean. When I say that, that yeah. that's what I mean. So we know of the armored. We know of the armored titan, the colossal titan, the beast titan, the founding titan, Whatever Ymir is. And the Attack Titan. And the Attack Titan. And? And the Female Titan. Annie. Yeah. And then um, whatever the, the, the little guy with the... Oh, the quadruped? Yeah. Okay. I guess that's one. Because they keep referring to him yeah. as, as the okay. fourth. So then we're missing one. We know eight. We know eight already? We know eight. So there's one we don't know. And we don't know what the... We don't know what Ymir is called. We don't know what that Titan is called because I assume they all have a name. Yeah. So, and then we call her the female Titan, but I don't know if that's what Annie's Titan name Probably is not. as well. Um, and then, yes, I know. Hold on. We know we literally just saw the attack Titan for the first time. Yes, the owl transformed into the attack titan. Yeah. But, again, it's not our first time seeing him, because that is what Aaron is. Yeah. <laughs> that was the first titan form Aaron had, was yeah. the attack titan. Yeah. Because Grisha is obviously going to eat this man and become the attack titan. Yeah. And then he passed that on to his son. So, I know. We finally got to the point, though, where we can use the name Attack Titan technically in the next episode. But we know what it is. <laughs> we put the pieces together. So quit yelling at me. Yeah. But we're missing one. Hmm. We don't know what... There's a, a, a Titan out there that we don't know. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Hmm. Okay. So we know... We know Major... Sergeant Major Gross... Yes. ...was the one who sicked his son's dogs on... Faye. Faye. Little, little Faye. Uh, and then the other guy was the owl... Yeah. All along. Kruger. Kruger. Their man on the inside. Yep. So Grisha's plan is to restore the, the LDN, LDN Empire to what it once was because he believes that the Marlians have been lying to them. That the history is not what they say it is. Ymir's people did not do ethnic cleansing and all of that shit as they have reported. That's okay. their That's history. Their version of the history. His version, or the real, the truth, is that she brought prosperity to the land and, you know, whatever. And then right. 
these people, and then there was a war, I guess. Mm. The Marlins didn't like that. Which, mm. judging by numbers alone, you'd be kind of inclined to believe Grisha because they are now the oppressed ones. Right. If Ymir, if like the Eldian Empire was really that great, right. it's like, how did it fall so easily? It fell to seven titans. Yeah, but, but again, how would they get the seven titans? Right. That's that's my question. If it sounds like Marlians can't turn into titans, how did they do it? That might be the key. That might be the lie. Right. Yeah. So I mean, once again, we're dealing with someone's lying. The, like we're dealing again with another version of like history. Like right, there, right, there's right. a well, line. Yeah, yeah, there's parallels, obviously. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Let's see. Okay, so uh, clearly, Grisha is going to become the attack titan. Yeah. Right. Yeah, he's basically giving him a teaching moment. This is how right. you become the Titan. Pay attention because you're about to get this power. Right. So, Grisha will have the power of the Attack Titan. He, all of his comrades were just killed or turned into Titans. Yeah. But we know now Zeke is a is the beast titan. Yeah. So he has taken on that role. They got that power somehow. Like, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I assume the attack titan, they're going to basically lead a revolt. And then they're going to take the founding, they went to take the founding titan power back. So that they can fully restore the Eldian Empire? Yeah. Because, like, for, at this point, they're about to take over the Marley Empire again. Yes. Okay. To, to stave off war that the Marleans are going to bring to Paradise Island. Right. Because they, they want to go there for the fossil fuels or whatever. Right, they need the stuff underneath the... Yeah, so now they're... So basically, like, war is going to happen. Like, right. we're... That's going to, like, eventually occur. Right. Grisha's plan was to pretty much, like, stop it before it got to his people on the island. Right. Was to, like, start the war there. Right. Yeah, I mean, okay, so, like, so Zeke is, is obviously an Eldian. Yep. So he's the Beast Titan. And then we have Reiner and Bertolt Ymir. They could all read the language. Yeah, so they must be Eldians. So they're Eldians as well. That's what I'm saying. I think they're descendants of... So yeah, I think only Eldians can turn into Titans. I think they just... The Marlians somehow convinced seven of the Eldians to fight on their side. Fight on their side. I guess that's possible. We just have to figure out how the hell they did that. Right. What sort of... Like, what sort of lie did they say? How did they manipulate them either through... Right. Through lies or was there, like, a way to control them? Right. I don't know. Hmm. Okay. But yeah, we got confirmation that Aaron's homeland. Now it's gonna be hard to like refer to everything. Yeah, because he's. But we got confirmation that Paradise Island, yes. where everything has happened so far, the three walls. Yes. It is a prison for bad Eldians to be turned into Titans and sent to live their life sentence. Right. And yeah. And like the, and their yeah. And their people are just living inside the walls and yeah. Trying to survive. Right. Against themselves. Against basically. themselves. That's the, that's the insidious part. Right. So the fucked up part <laughs> is like, kind of like in the, in, you know, like a while back we got that one line from, you know, Levi when we finally learned that like Titans were humans and he's like, so I've just been like a murderous maniac right. killing humans. Well, not only that, but you've been killing like your own people. Your own people. Although he's an Ackerman, so it's a little different because I think they're a different mm, bloodline. Maybe. They might be. Yeah, I don't know. Wow. That's the thing we still don't know because remember they said there are three bloodlines. Right. The, 
What was it? The Rice. The Rice. The Ackerman. Ackerman. And then there was a the Oriental. That we don't know. Yeah, that we like we all, we don't have a name for them. So the Rice bloodline then is just is the Fritz. Yeah, it's the Fritz bloodline. Yeah. Right. So. So then we have to figure out what the Ackerman bloodline is. I don't know. And why they're so strong. Yeah. If that yeah. ever comes back into yeah, play, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And the real, the real kicker. Yeah. Is that Dinah is the fucking Titan that ate Aaron's mother. Yeah. <laughs> hey, she kept her word. I'll come find you no matter what form I take. True. She went to his house. She did go to his house. Do look for him. Hmm. Mm, yeah, that's true. Mm. Okay, so yeah, that that also clears up that he was not sent as a spy, unless he went of his own volition after becoming the Attack Titan, leading a rebellion. See, I I don't think he now now I think I think I was kind of right because he turns into the Attack Titan, loses his memories. Not clear as to why he loses like all of his memories. I don't think he did. I think he still is lying about that. I don't think he. I, I, I think he does temporarily lose his memories, but I think he gains them back quickly. But I think in that moment, I think he didn't Maybe. wander. Maybe. Yeah. It still that still doesn't make any sense though. Ymir didn't lose her memories, and she was a Titan for sixty years. But we but we don't know if she lost her memories for a like small amount of time and then regained them later. I guess, but even Armin, he only lost it to a certain point. He remembered everything prior to that point. I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, I, like, I don't know why he would... Yeah, I don't know. I, I think that was lie. I think that was after he had already decided he was sent on a mission to infiltrate, or he decided to go so, okay. find, found, find the founding titan. So then that'll be what we learn probably in the next episode, is what the owl sends him... The owl probably gives him a mission. Probably, Yeah, okay. And then he, yeah. yeah. And so he pretends like he doesn't know who he is and stuff like that so that they'll take him in. And he's just constantly like working in the constantly. basement to devise a plan on how to make Aaron basically the the hope for all humanity? I guess. I don't know. I don't know if he did that. I don't know. I think I think what it was is I think he had always planned on him being Yes, that's what I think too and then he and then as things began to get out of control he was like, "Well, I'm going to lose, so I need to Yeah. I need to dump this power to some into someone else. Hide it." Yeah. Yeah, hide it. So, yeah. Yeah, he chose Aaron. Okay. Wow. I mean, that's a lot of stuff. Um. Mm. Mm. All right. Anything else you Oh, I guess it means See, and that's what I'm saying. So they have they know it's the spinal fluid of a titan. Mm -hmm. It apparently can be any titan, and that definitely shows they have access to titans. <laughs> Right, because they have access to they have access to the spinal fluid. Yeah, well, so. and they have access to the Eldian people. Right. So, yeah, they probably yeah when they controlled the seven of nine titans, they probably extracted spinal fluid from them. That was probably the beginning, and then since then they've just been turning yeah. people and extracting and right. you know yeah yeah could be building up their like stockpile. True. So so here's the ultimate question then. Which which empire do you think is the evil one? Do you think the Eldians and the Titans are truly like we're still considering them the bad people, or has it just flipped? And now we're learning that the Titans are actually the good guys, and the Marlians are the bad people. <sighs> it depends. Yeah, it depends on what the truth is. Does it? It does. But does it? Does, if you were, does it right now matter? If your people were ethnically cleansed for seventeen hundred years, mm -hmm. 
I think you would be justified in committing genocide. Technically, all you did was round them up. Well, no, they're they're turning them into titans because they committed crimes. That's a fucking <laughs> extreme punishment. It is. I agree with that. <laughs> and keeping them in internment camps is is a punishment. I, I agree with that too. But again, I I I sort of feel a little justified with that. I mean. But do you? Because even Grisha says it as a kid. He says, I didn't do those things. As his father's reading Sure, I mean, yes, horrible... we're talking about 80 years later. So at yeah. that point, you do have to at some point say, okay, enough's enough. It's the argument of like the sins of my father. Sure. Sort of, it, yeah, it's like you cannot punish people sure. forever for something their ancestors did. Sure, I mean, I agree. And as a white man, I feel very strongly about this. <sighs> wonder why. <sighs> But it, it's it's a it's a sensitive topic, I guess. If you take it outside of Attack on Titan and you do look at yes, real history, sure. are white people responsible for everything their ancestors did forever until the end of time? And it's like, well, no, no. But how long is exactly. long enough? What's what's the statute of limitations? And what should the punishment be? Right. Is sure. it is it good enough if they don't do it anymore? Right. Like, if it stops, is that good enough, or does it need to stop, and then there needs to be punishment? Right. Well, here's my other thing, is let's say, instead of turning them into Titans, because, yes, that's just the vengeance route. Right. Turning them into Titans and releasing them on Paradise Island, just send them all to Paradise Island. Just get them out of your fucking country. And then you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to have them in camps. You don't have to do any of that stuff. Now, the like, the... It's like, yes, at one point you probably could have made the argument like, well, yes, like what they did was horrible, the Eldian people, if it's all, if that part's true. Right. But now we've crossed, like we've flipped. And it's like, okay, but now it doesn't, it doesn't justify right. years of this. No, of course not. Yeah. It really doesn't. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those moral dilemmas of like, yeah, yeah like what, what should it, what should the punishment be? How long should it be? Is, is a punishment even the That's right insane. answer? Like, right. Do you know who's fucking as a kid? Two wrongs don't make a right. Like, right. and now we're just gonna keep going back and forth. It's gonna be constant war if this is the way it is. Yeah, because whatever side is the one that's being oppressed at the at the moment is going to feel like they need to, you know, fight back. Obviously, right? And they will, and then it just flips over to the other side. Yeah, so it's like never ending. Right. Hmm. And then we have the. Basically, nuclear deterrent of the Titans in the walls. Yeah. So Fritz was just like, "Don't ever fucking come over here." That's uh, his version of uh, yeah WMDs, I guess. <laughs> right. You come over here, and I have millions of Titans. I will unleash out of these walls onto you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a good threat. It is a good threat. I mean, obviously. But what has the Marleyan Empire been doing since? Grish has been away. Mm. Have they been beefing up a fucking military, getting ready to... Right. I mean, we kind of know they are, because we know they plan to take the fossil fuels or whatever. Right. So, like, are they, yeah, are they beefing up a military to come attack... Well, maybe. Attack the walls. Yeah, possibly. They're going to have to, because they're trying to get the founding titan. Yeah, so that's another thing. Now it puts into view... That Grisha came to get the founding Titan thing and then had to hide it, right? The other four came. That's what's weird. I'm trying to figure it out because it, it feels to me like they came. I guess they just came to kill, to kill everybody. That's what Reiner said. Yeah, to kill everybody and to... And then they changed their tactic once they found out Aaron could become a Titan. Yeah. But they don't know that he's... Or they didn't know, at least at that time, I don't think they felt like they knew he was the founding Titan. Yeah. Right? I don't think they did. I don't know. Well, no, hold on. 
Because he didn't become the founding titan until the end of season two. And Annie was already trying to, like, capture him. No, he... So... Or not the founding titan, but, like, like the coordinate power or whatever. I mean, I guess. I don't... That's what I'm trying to figure Is out. Is that the founding titan power? I don't know. I would assume. Right? He can control... Yeah, right. He, he controlled those titans. Right. I but the, assume But so. the beast titan can control titans. Yeah, but I don't know that it can control... It, it can't control the ones that are in the wall. That's what they want it for. So how do we know Aaron has the power to do that? Because, um, okay, so because the the rice daughter had it. Yeah. He ate the rice daughter, so he has it. Right. And then he had Aaron eat him. Yeah. Therefore, Aaron has it. Okay. So we we know he has it, but he also has the attack titan power. Yeah, he's got both. And that's what we've seen him use. Because that's what Grisha was when he went first. He was the attack titan. Yeah. So it's weird because it's like, yeah, like he when he ate Grisha, he got both powers. Right. It's he just didn't unleash the the founding titan power until, until later. the end. Yeah, when he saw the mother and yeah. yeah. It's like it, yeah, it was like it was laying dormant and then it like kind of yes. came to the surface in that moment. And that's when they realized, oh shit. But but that's what I'm saying, like. Way before that, yeah. Annie was trying to capture. Yeah, they Aaron. wanted Aaron because he had the attack titan power. That, okay, so that's why. Just that's what they, I assume. Just because of the attack because titan? they didn't know. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, like if they, if I they think didn't so. know that he had the founding titan power, why were they so interested in getting the because attack he had the titan? attack titan? Yeah, but why are they so interested in that one? I'm assuming they want all the titan powers. They, they don't want, want anyone to have those powers. Collect them all, of course. Okay, gotta, gotta get them all. Yeah, that that means. In the beginning, Ymir had all nine powers. Yeah, Ymir Fritz. Like when she got the when she got the power, or whatever from the Devil of All yeah, Earth. The Devil of All Because it says her soul split into nine right. Titans. Does that mean she had all the nine powers before she split them out? Yeah, I think so. Fuck. What does that look like? I don't know. I mean, you saw the little picture. They drew her like huge and. Yeah. So I th- I think yeah like she just had all of that power. You'd just be like an unstoppable her, beast. You'd be a much. colossal armored <laughs> attack titan with control over all titans. Yep. Although there wouldn't have been any titans. True. At that point, right? Yeah. Like it's basically just she had unlimited power. And yeah. then when she died, it split into nine different powers. Yeah. Okay. But does that mean it's split into, like, just the nine full titans? And then how did they turn into anybody? I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't know either. Huh. Could they transform willingly into human form back Maybe. and forth? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Because we know they don't... Maybe she had nine kids. And they each got one. But but that's confusing, too, because Titans don't have genitals. Well, maybe she had the kids, like, prior to becoming a Titan. But I, I know, but that doesn't matter either. But, well, but even... The, but then her kids wouldn't have genitals if she was... If they're all Titans. Unless they can willingly... No, I'm still. saying... Yes, I'm saying that she had children. Yeah. She dies, and the power of those titans went into each of those kids as humans who could then turn into titans. Right. But they each had a different power. But then how does it go beyond that? Because someone has to eat someone. Sure. Yeah, but as humans, they can have children. And those children, just like the rices. And then the children eat the their children own eat their parents. parent to pass it on. Jesus. Down the lineage, yeah, and then some people start to figure out who can do what, and that they have powers, and they realize how you have to do it, and so someone else eats them. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. It's, well, it's, I mean, yeah, it would just depend on how many kids you oh, have. It's because remember, you, you, yeah, it, 
whoever figures out the spinal thing, that's how you start to be able to do it because you make other titans that will then eat whoever. Yeah. So it doesn't have to go lineage unless you're planning it. Once they learn how to make titans that are not special titans, just pure titans. So then they would, okay, so then that, obviously that process then would have to have started with the original nine. Yeah, I guess so. I would assume. Yeah, because Ymir would split into the nine, and then those nine would kind of exist, but then they would have to figure out, by extracting their own fluid, they can create more titans. Right. But then, in doing so, possibly fucked up, and they were like, oh shit, like, we, we turned this person into a titan, and then they ate me, and now they're, you know, right. cause we yeah. couldn't control them or possibly. something. Yeah. yeah, it was trial and error. Uh, just it's interesting to think of like how yeah. the whole. I mean, it is for it's sure. It's the Adam and Eve conundrum of like, yeah, at yeah. some point we're all fucking related, which right. is gross, but like, sure, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <sighs> well, I think that's it. Yeah, a lot of info in these past two eps. Ton of stuff. You guys won't know it because these will be edited. But the previous episode and this episode, watching and discussing both of them, we have spent over two hours. <laughs> Jesus Christ. we got to move on. <laughs> we got more to record, so we got to move on. Yeah. Um, so that's going to be it for this episode. Great up. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.